girls. Life as girls. Life as girls. We have a lot to say and we hope you're listening. Hi everyone and welcome to Life as Girls, a podcast for girls by girls. I'm Aubrey and I'm your host. Have you ever stopped to consider if there's certain environments that make you feel happy or rejuvenated? For me, I really like spending time outside. I've been camping and hiking since I was little, and I've, been tr- I've even tried surfing and kayaking, and I also love going to the beach and to the river. For my sister, when she needs a stress break, she'll sometimes go on a walk. Today, I'm welcoming a guest who has taken getting outside to a level a lot of girls haven't. Lark, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. Of course. Okay, so I think what's important to know is, Lark, you're a sophomore in high school, and you're on the Color Guard team. Um, You're also in the school's marching band, and you're an avid scuba diver. So I really want to concentrate on your passion for scuba diving, because I think it's really cool, and I think a lot of people have maybe never tried that in their entire life. Um, So I'd like to know, like, how did you get into scuba, Um, and just kind of like, what was that process for you, like, getting into it? Well, um, scuba diving is not a super popular sport, you know, only 30% of women are divers, and so, you know, not a super, it, I don't know, not something a lot of people can do. Uh, I discovered it during 2020, during the pandemic, Mm because it was kind of the only thing that was not super, like, breathing everybody's air. Totally, because you're on the 2020, yeah. 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 Um, and I signed up for a Discover Scuba course, and, uh, then I did a one-week camp to get certified and I've been diving ever since. That's really cool. So you said it was a one week certification course. Kind of what did you do during that certification course? What is kind of required of you to get certified? Um, I learned how to like swap air with somebody. Okay. Learned how to like kind of save myself if I'm tangled in something or, you know, read all the things on the computer. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just understand basic safety scenarios. No, it's really cool. And do you ever think, like, scuba diving is really, like, it's kind of hard, and so that's why not a lot of people get into it? Or you just think it's, like, not a lot of opportunity to get to go and do this kind of thing? I definitely think it's not necessarily hard, but it's just, it seems hard from the outside, so a lot of people are scared to step into it and try it. Yeah, totally. It's a great thing to say. Um, Well, I think that's just really, really impressive. And I think that people might be, like, intimidated by that kind of training or just the idea that there's kind of a whole process to getting to do it. It's not just something you can, like, automatically just jump in and kind of do. Um, But it also makes sense that you're kind of willing to invest time into training for something you love. So I feel like for most people, um, when you're scuba diving, you learn to, like, you kind of know that you have to learn how to use special equipment. Um, And it kind of, like, equipment that allows you to breathe underwater, equipment that's, like, getting oxygen and all that stuff. I talk about that like I know what I'm talking about. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, And you have to learn how to swim in a way where you avoid contact with the bottom of the, like, river and, like, marine life. But what are some other skills that you have to learn that you think, like, people don't really know about? Um, I have to learn how to communicate effectively underwater, which is you know, an entire, we kind of have hand signals, so it's a different way of talking to somebody, because you can't hear underwater. Right, right. Um, And, like, staying, being more aware of my surroundings, and just uh, really being in tune with everything that's going on around me. Yeah, and is it kind of, like, common for you to have to, like, we talk about, like, marine, or, like, wildlife being on the bottom. Is it kind of common for you guys to, like, run into like wildlife or things you have to avoid in the water uh yeah definitely there's a lot of wildlife that we have to be aware of and so since a lot of people don't come down there the wildlife is more like willing to come up and talk to us and so yeah definitely learning how to stay away and be cautious of things like that yeah what kind of things do you see like is it fish or is it like kind of what things are you seeing when you're under the water uh in texas it's a lot of fish right okay makes Uh, sense makes sense yeah Lot, different sized fish, but de- definitely just fish. And but in other places that I've dove, I've seen sea turtles. That's cool. Yeah. And sharks. They don't come up to us. I've seen those from a distance. But cool. Yeah. No, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so kind of like changing or shifting gears for a little moment. In my experience, like when you really love something, you try to do your best to protect it. Um, and so like you shared with me like some of the things you've done to kept the waterways clean, like when you're on dives and stuff, ways you can protect the wildlife. Um, so will you kind of talk about all that you've done, at least scuba diving, to like kind of try to protect the water and protect something that you love doing? 
Uh, I have done a patty aware dive, which is learning how to safely pick up trash underwater Mm -hmm. and collect marine like debris. Cool. Basically, so I've done multiple cleanup dives where I go and I pick up trash underwater, and also just like learning about the underwater wildlife so I can use like reef safe sunscreen. Cool. Yeah. Just being able to. And like recycling and all that, and it's just ways to protect the water. Yeah, and I think that's really like important for people to learn about. I think the way I even learned about kind of being safe, especially protecting uh, wildlife, kind of extends to like the water. It's not just doing it on land; it's also in water too. And I feel like the way I learned about that was like through TikTok. So I think it's really cool that you're learning about it now, and like you're so involved with it because I just think a lot of people might not know that kind of protecting the wilderness can extend to the water and like water systems too. But mm-hmm. yeah, reef safe sunscreen, you brought that up. It's kind of what made me think of it. Um, it's just like, there's little things that we can all do to kind of help keep keep our wilderness and like keep our the place we live in more protected. So I think it's really cool that you're doing it. Um, so we also talk about like how um, it's great Hold on, I'm going to try to reword this. Okay, so I, I want you to talk about how there's, this is a hard thing that you're learning to do, but I think that the reward is just really special. It's special that you get to like, yes, you're doing something hard, scuba diving is not an easy skill, but you get a lot out of it. Um, kind of what do you think you're getting out of it? What does it mean to you to be like scuba diving? And why, kind of why is it something that you spend so much time doing? Um, yeah, I get to see like an entire new part of the world and somewhere that a lot of people don't get to see. Yeah. And new environments. And I get to have, a, like, a really personal connection with just, like, the water and the the animals that are in there and the wildlife and seeing, like, up up close all the these animals and everything. Yeah, no, <laughs> totally. And you were talking to me about how you've been to different places before. Can you remind me, like, where all have you been um, and to like scuba diving, where have you gotten to go? And kind of like, what was your experience of getting to go to a new place? Uh, So I got to go to Grand Cayman and Curacao in the Caribbean. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've gotten to see, it's just totally different diving in the ocean because it's so clear and you can see all different places. So I yeah. like I get to see coral and new types of more colorful fish than the ones you'll see here. Yeah, yeah. And like in Curacao, a sea turtle came up to our like diving group and came and played in our bubbles, which is something that was really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So like you talking about the water was so clear. Do you think like is it just like a visibility thing that like the Caribbean has clear waters and like places here in Austin, or do you think it has to do with like maybe the Caribbean having more just like restrictions on like uh like or kind of more limitations to what people can like put in the ocean or doing more to protect the ocean uh i don't know if it's more about trash but definitely just like places in texas have a lot of muck in them right okay. like there's san marcus in or spring lake in san marcus and they have pretty clear water right, but okay. and they have done a lot to protect the water with like taking out invasive species and just keeping a lot of trash out of it. Yeah. Um, cool. So I definitely think that has a, a part of it, but I think the ocean is just also more clear and there's less mud and stuff in it. Totally. And I think it's really cool that, like, Austin can show you so much, but, like, your kind of love of the outdoors really takes you to, like, different places, mm-hmm. which is really cool. And it's also something, like, Girl Scouts gets to let you do. Um, so I think that's really amazing. Um, I think the other thing I we should talk about is kind of what all like you get to do for scuba diving um you said that that's just something that you really care about so besides like the certification process once you're done um you've talked a little bit about like picking up trash but is this kind of like an educational thing for you or is it more something that you're just doing like just for fun because you love it uh, I definitely get to learn a lot while scuba diving, but it's a lot for fun. Cool, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I get to learn new activities, so, like, in scuba diving, you can, like, I don't know, continue your learning. So open water is what I did in that first certification, but 
I now am an advanced open water, so I got to learn how to dive at night and oh, how to cool. navigate really underwater. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, I've done fish identification underwater and sea turtle awareness underwater. So definitely I get to learn a lot more things about the environment and, like, how to dive differently. So. Yeah. No, that's really cool. And, like, for my experience, I... I kind of really care about the environmental aspect of this, and I think it's really cool because I want to study environmental science in college, but I think a lot of what I learn about in class that's, like, related to environmental science is kind of about maybe, like, meat production or it's, like, how we're um, producing, like, the land we're using and maybe not using it to our full potential on land. And so something that you get to see is how, like environmental science or protecting the environment can change when you're talking about water and not land so i think that's really cool and i also think that you're just learning like a lot of life experience by getting to do something you love out in the wilderness so i mean i love your love of outdoors yes totally extends to scuba diving but is there other ways that you've other things you've gotten to experience in the outdoors that hasn't just been scuba diving or like other places you got to visit that you just loved that wasn't like scuba diving related uh, I do a lot of my outdoor stuff kind of with diving. Totally, no, I get that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've gone hiking and, and uh, just around Texas and gotten to see, like, a lot of the state parks here, too. Yeah, totally. I think hiking is, like, one of my favorite things to do. And, like, every time we go to a different national park and something, that's something you get to do. Um, and I think, like, whether you're kind of in the water or on land, there's always, like, your love of nature maybe, I hope, will push you to, like want to protect it and keep it safe Mm -hmm. um so I think that's all really like great life advice and as someone who's like tried water activities I think I've never tried scuba diving but I've tried surfing um and I've not been good at it it kind of like feels stupid when you're trying to do something new but it's definitely worth it I mean you've kind of shown me that like the payoff is something like even greater than the process um so yeah totally the feeling of accomplishment here is definitely like just super advanced. Um, and it's definitely a lot more fun to get involved with something that's like than it is to sit on the sidelines and watch other people have fun. So thank you so much for being here and like sharing your experiences with me. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, now I'm gonna do my outro. Thank you for listening to this episode of Life as Girls. Um, because I'm an outdoor lover, I encourage you all to get outside today and enjoy a little bit of nature. See you next time. If you enjoyed this episode of Life as Girls, be sure to write a review and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. And a big thank you to our sponsor, the Girl Scouts of Central Texas. You can learn more about them at www.gsctx.org. If you are interested in sponsoring this podcast, or if you have a topic you'd like for us to talk about, email us at communications at gsctx.org. See you next time.